First Mover Asia, BTC spikes over $22.8 thousand dollars, Dapradar's complicated valuation model and the difficulties of assessing NFTs. Bitcoin and major altcoins proceeded with their late end of the week rally, NFTs are a resource class or worth still can't seem to be obviously characterized. Bitcoin rises over $22.8 thousand dollars, Ether soars past $1.6 thousand dollars. Bitcoin and other significant cryptographic forms of money proceeded with their late Sunday rally, taking off past $22,800 at one point in Monday exchanging in the midst of a smaller than expected recovery of financial backer idealism about the worldwide economy, national bank financial fixing and the Ethereum merge later this mid-year. The biggest digital money by market capitalization was as of late exchanging at about $22,896, up over 9% throughout the course of recent hours. Bitcoin is currently roosted over the $18,000 to $22,000 territory it has held since mid-June generally while crypto exchanging stage Celsius Network declared it was stopping withdrawals and Coinbase, Coin, and various advanced resource organizations said they were eliminating positions. Ether, the second biggest crypto by market cap, fared stunningly better, as of late climbing over 19% over the earlier day to exchange at generally $1,600. Markets keep on taking a gander at the Ethereum blockchain's merge change from a more energy-serious confirmation of work to an all-the-more-harmless-to-the-ecosystem verification of stake convention. Other major altcoins expected different shades of green, generally on the more profound side, with ETC and SAND up more than 13% and 10%, separately, at a certain point. In any case, market onlookers were careful about sounding too perky, given the months-long background of rising expansion national bank vulnerability and the approaching possibility of downturn. I'm bullish in the close to term of like possibly 14 days, however after that you must be wary on the grounds that you actually have this large number of macroeconomic headwinds, Hassan Basiri, VP, Portfolio the executives for resource the board firm Arca, told Coindesk. You actually have no new capital streaming into the space. It's simply us exchanging against one another. Cryptos followed the overall heading of stocks, which rose ahead of schedule prior to falling in the early evening, albeit significant value lists completed somewhat in the red for the day with the tech-centered Nasdaq and S&P 500 dropping 0.8%. The decays came to a great extent after iPhone and PC producer Apple, AAPL, declared it would tighten back spending and recruiting. This is an exceptionally intriguing time with regards to the market now, the series said. At the point when Apple news emerged, the market promptly pulled back, so there's as yet areas of strength for A with customary business sectors. Be that as it may, crypto was beginning to decouple on a momentary premise. So it's extremely difficult to say with a ton of capability what will happen on the grounds that the market is very player versus player. Crypto awful news proceeds. Inconvenient news kept on moving from the crypto business. Crypto representative Genesis Global Trading, a Coindesk affiliated business, has recorded a $1.2 billion case against the now indebted Crypto Flexible Investments 3 Arrows Capital, as per a 1,157 page court documenting transferred by insolvency legal administrator Tinio. The documenting demonstrates that Genesis Asia Pacific PTE Limited, an auxiliary of Genesis Global, is looking for help from three arrows with respect to resources of $1.14 billion, as well as vowed AVAX and near tokens worth a sum of $91.3 million. Furthermore, court filings uncovered that Celsius Network has a $1.2 billion opening, at least, in its monetary record the organization has $5.5 billion in liabilities, $4.7 billion of which addresses client property and just $4.3 billion in resources, quite a bit of which is illiquid. However the organization has proactively started to follow through with its obligation to institutional loan bosses, retail financial backers have been left in obscurity and will probably endure the worst part of Celsius faltering. The series said that the assembly over the course of the last day originated from an Ethereum short crush. On the off chance that the market structure is with the end goal that individuals are shorting and you can begin a short crush against them, that can begin setting off energy algos, calculations, and extra purchasers, he noted. You're proceeding to see that today. He added, Ether has a genuine motivation to move since it has an impetus coming. Experiences Depredar's Complicated Valuation Model Non-fungible tokens, NFT, are an intense resource class to esteem. As we've examined previously, there simply is definitely not a generally acknowledged method for esteeming NFTs, 
Three unique administrations gave three distinct outcomes while attempting to esteem three arrows starry night assortment. NFT Twitter needs to see the worth of their aggregate sack of JPGs hit the moon, so they were unsettled that Coindesk utilized Dapradar's numbers to esteem Starry Night's wallet at under $5 million. A wide range of allegations flew on Twitter about Dapradar's technique, so who better to converse with about how Dapradar really functions than Pedro Herrera, the organization's head of exploration, and Sarunas Samitis, an expert who works with the organization in creating machine learning drives. I think the greatest test to any demonstrating of NFT valuations are sentiments, Samitis said. Individuals have a ton of feelings about what the valuations ought to be and what there really is. They befuddle two things, costs and values, a ton. The two made sense of that Dapradar utilizes an AI relapse calculation that goes through every one of the notable deals as well as metadata and evaluations a cost of the NFT through introduction. While this may be viewed as a forecast, it is more an addition of market in time with a reliable cost recovered by means of man-made brainpower, AI, Dapradar said in an email preparation. The consequence of the value introduction is utilized as the valuation. The model begins to define a boundary between metadata cost and past deals to gauge the potential market worth of an NFT, Herrera said. It additionally begins to perceive how different is its gauge from the cost from the past deals, so it begins to change. Troubles in assessing costs. What's more, actually assessing the cost is troublesome in light of the fact that it's another resource class, and every assortment has various attributes. For instance, one has the utility, the other one is more similar to a social restrictive club, so how would you truly assess that? It's a test, yet at a general this is the manner by which it works, Herrera said. One thing the model pays special attention to is exception occasions that would move the worth of the market, for example, last year's unprecedented Christie's bartering for a CryptoPunk and a Bored Ape. That is the sort of offer that our model is, by configuration, intended to decipher ineffectively on the grounds that that is a market-evolving occasion, Herrera said. Due to the exception idea of the deal, it would be weighted at a lower rating of significance to other market information. Yet, even as the crypto market gradually recuperates from last month's accident, Dapradar is as yet seeing revenue from brokers in the resource class, yet the mindset has changed. Presently, there's a liquidity smash in the area, the Dapradar group says, since everybody is purchasing and holding, not selling, with the conviction there are more brilliant days for valuations. I figure seeing liquidity can provide you with somewhat of a silly view, Samitis said, in light of the fact that such countless brokers are enduring things. So the valuations of the bear market of 2022 simply won't be equivalent to the great seasons of 2021. In any case, simultaneously, will these qualities hold when the hypothesis passes on? NFTs presently, very much like all resources, have two qualities, they have the key worth and the speculative worth, added Samitis. Individuals really don't have the foggiest idea what that major worth is. Significant Occasions 9 colon 30 a.m. HKD slash SGT, 1.30 a.m. Universal Time Coordinated Minutes from Money Related Strategy Meeting of the Reserve Bank of Australia. 10 a.m. HKD slash SGT, 2 a.m. Universal Time Coordinated Speech by Michelle Bullock, Associate Lead Representative, Financial System, at the Reserve Bank of Australia. 4 p.m. HKT slash SGT, 8 a.m. Universal Time Coordinated European Central Bank Loaning Review. Coindesk TV. In the event that you missed it, here is the latest episode of First Mover Slash on Coindesk TV. Chris Giancarlo on first hearing in Celsius bankruptcy case, Ethereum merge update. Celsius Network uncovered how it intends to safeguard clients as it plans for its most memorable hearing in New York liquidation court. Previous Commodity Futures Trading Commission Chairman Chris Giancarlo joined First Mover to examine the Celsius case, the computerized dollar undertaking and that's only the tip of the iceberg. Likewise, for what reason are Bitcoin, BTC, and Ether, ETH, costs rising? Global Block CEO Rufus Round joined the business sector's conversation. Furthermore, Mahan Gupta, organizer behind an unmistakable India-based crypto trade, shared his viewpoint on the condition of the crypto business. Titles Celsius bankruptcy filings hint retail customers will bear brunt of its failure. The New Jersey-based crypto loan specialist has a $1.2 billion opening in its monetary record and will probably battle to repay its clients and lenders. Beginning Global issued $2.36 billion in under-collateralized loans to three